there's another term for it, but I'm just going to call it neural entrainment uh, that happens that produces this sort of shared experience. Like right now, you and I, obviously we're getting along, we're riffing, we're talking interesting stuff. Our brains are actually becoming a little bit more similar, hmm. like, like physically similar yeah. in the way our network patterns are going over time. It ain't happening on Zoom. Yeah, It's not. And so when I saw that research, I was like, damn, this is, um, this is profound and has a profound implications for how we organize human society, uh, you know, so moving forward. Now, of course, it's super cool. I can zoom, you know, zooming with, you know, somebody in Taiwan and, you know, all around. All, you know, it's fascinating stuff. It extends us, but it is not a substitute, period. Yeah. Yeah. And from, a, uh, from another standpoint, you know, not just in terms of like um, kind of high level brain brain on brain matching, like there is a field effect that also happens between the energetics of the body um, when persons are in close proximity. Yeah. Okay, I am not an electro, electrical engineer. I'm not a biophysicist, but it's my understanding that the actual like you know your heart is a muscle yeah. and it's contracting and it's actually got its own intrinsic nervous system. Mm -hmm. We're learning there's, there's actually nerves that live around in the plexus of the heart. So it's this sort of like literally second brain that has memory. And it's starting to learn more of a vortex than it is a, a, 